Hello, your boxes. We finally made it to Rotterdam. He finally made it to Rotterdam. We're here with Tix from Norway. Hi. Hi. How have you felt on the stage today? Your second rehearsal, second round of run throughs? Mm, felt nice. I was having fun. Uh, yeah, just singing my heart out. Your concept on stage is very theatrical, and I know your character Tix is also very theatrical. Where do you draw? Uh, what did you draw the idea for the staging? This staging with like the angels, the big wings. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, in this head, uh, there's like uh, uh, fucking chaos all the time. Uh, I have so much ADHD; it's like insane. So, um, I, uh, I. Um, yeah, I, I, well, I guess I just kind of felt like this was the right way to portray the song visually. Uh, I think it complements the lyrics in the song. Uh, it's something about, like, I'm on stage there. Um, song Fallen Angel is about someone who's been struggling, someone who's been having a hard time, but still has a lot of inner beauty. Uh, and the show is about this beautiful angel, this beautiful character that should obviously be up in heaven but he fails to recognize his own beauty and so his inner demons, his insecurities, his inner struggles are holding him back from getting him where he wants to be. The lyrics of the song are really relatable. Everyone has felt like someone is too good to be... Too, uh, I still don't know what she, she ever saw in me. Everyone has felt that. I I'm trying not to say that word, but I fucking love that! Oh, I love that line so much. It it stings in my heart every time when I say that. Um, yes, because we can all think of that one person that we saw, and I'm still not sure how you ever saw what you ever saw in me. It's so relatable. Yeah, it's about feeling inadequate and like feeling like you're not enough for mm -hmm. someone. Either if you're with that someone and you're just like, man I can't believe how lucky I am or if it's like someone who who you could never be with because you just couldn't be enough for her mm -hmm. I, what I love about your whole um, you representing Norway is that there's two uh, two visually story two visual storylines one is the video clip yeah. and one is the staging so let's talk a little bit about your video clip because mm -hmm. if we understand it draws for your personal experience so it's not not only we have this line of uh, she, someone's too good to be true, but you also have the relatability of being through a tough time during teenage years. Yeah, uh, the idea behind the music video was well, basically we had a meeting and we were gonna make the music video, and we had uh, I had a bunch of scripts handed to me, uh, and I didn't really well to be honest, I didn't really read them. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, and I said, you guys, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to brainstorm here for a minute. Uh, and then I set the timer to one minute, and I decided that, okay. Um, this is the brilliant minute. That was a brilliant minute. Uh, well, I said, well, the thing here is I got to get Europe to know me, uh, and I got to get to know Europe. So let's just present a series of, like, of moments from my childhood and like let's just present those moments who made me who I am uh, and it's about the story in the music video is about um, what caused my well my initial self-consciousness and also it's about like it's about Taking your biggest weakness and turning it into your your greatest strength. That is that is what makes you invincible. Because once you've turned that into your superpower, nobody can uh, jab you on that anymore. Yeah. And I want to touch on the music video again because there's a lot of drawings on the wall. Mm -hmm. Do you oh, draw? You that. Of course. Uh, I, I'm an artist. I'm a painter. So. Oh, you are. Well, um, I used to draw a lot, but. Not that much anymore. Um, I uh, well, um, because well, music takes up like all my time because I produce like everything myself and I write the lyrics myself. And 
it just occupies my whole life. But the thing about music for me is that um, when I was young, I had Tourette syndrome and I have tics. Uh, so that's why I call myself tics. And that's also why I'm wearing the glasses because I have so many uh, fuck, uh, so many tics in my eyes. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm afraid of like offending people when I roll my eyes in the middle of a conversation. Uh, but well, you're I, more self-aware than most people that yeah. have no. Um, well, yeah. The thing about music for me is that uh, I noticed in my like early years when I started doing music that um, music made me relax more. Uh, it kind of helped me keep my tics in check, uh, and it was easier. I was just more relaxed and uh, eventually I found out that I kind of listen to music differently than a lot of people uh, because to me music is also a visual thing. I can s oh, yeah. I, I can see music. I can synesthetic. Are you synesthetic? Do you know what synesthesia is? Yeah. So are you synesthetic? So I can, well, I haven't like really tested me but uh, I know that I can see like music in different colors oh, and that different... is synesthesia because I'm synesthetic I, you I... are yes yes wow that's insane uh, uh, so like, yeah and... every every sound has a different color and they create patterns of color. yeah and so and sometimes I see them just like uh, I can see I can see music like different instruments like different like bubbles yes, and yes. sometimes like colors sometimes I can see sometimes I see music like uh, a train station with like uh, 20 different tracks mm -hmm. and I see the trains moving yeah. Uh, so that's why sometimes I really zone out on stage. Um, but yeah, so that's why uh, I don't really draw because like music is kind of like drawing a, to me. Yeah, it's a different it's outlet, but still creative. Yeah, absolutely. So how are you passing the time in this uh, bubble? Because I, you probably cannot uh, leave the hotel very much. So are you producing music in your spare time? Well, I don't have any spare time here. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm working like I... I I wake up uh, 6 a.m. and then I work until I, uh, well, one of the days here I kind of passed out, so then I had to, I had to rest. Uh, but normally I wake up like 6 a.m. and I go to bed like 1 1 a.m. and then I just work constantly. Uh, we work to improve the show, uh, doing interviews, just getting my message out there, and also I spend insanely much time like reading my uh, reading the messages that I get from like both fans and also like comments from other people who who doesn't like me does, can, does that get you uh, well not really uh, well oh, sometimes right. it, like in the beginning but the thing is uh, I'm like I'm here on a mission I um, I'm here to just make some lives better, and I really think I can achieve that. Um, I think I could bring some sense of hope to a lot of people, and uh, a lot of inspiration and motivation. And uh, I know I've been doing that, like, to a lot of people with Tourette's. I know, um, and I just want—I'm here just to, like cheer for, like, all the people who's who's ever felt like an underdog mm -hmm. or like an outsider. Uh, and so, yeah, my, uh, what I spent, yeah, I spent so much time reading messages uh, because I just really want to know how people are doing, like how are people feeling? Uh, mm -hmm. And people are sharing like their deepest secrets with me. And obviously I can't answer everybody, but uh, it means a lot to me to actually read those messages just to get a sense of like how are people actually doing mm -hmm. That's fantastic. We wish you the best of luck We are probably going to see you in the final because there is no way your performance is not qualifying. So I guys don't, uh, don't forget to vote for Norway and let us know in the comments if you love Tix's song just as we do Thank you so much for your time Thank you. and uh, see you next time. Bye, Bye. Thank you.